Chairman, we're here in National Harbor near Washington DC for Sea Airspace 2021. Behind me is the new Deville Ray USV unmanned surface vehicle. I am with Bruce Hanson, the CEO of Martag, the designer of this USV. Bruce, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you, Xavier. Thanks for welcoming us. What can you tell us about this beast? Okay, so behind me we have the uh, T-38 Devil Ray. It's a vessel that was designed from scratch to be unmanned and fully autonomous. It has very high performance capabilities and about a week, week and a half ago, we just went to the Bahamas and back fully autonomous. What kind of speed did you achieve during this uh, transit to the Bahamas and back? So we went from Palm Beach to West End and back. In each leg, we went less than an hour. So on the way out, we took 53 minutes to get there. And on the way back, we took 51 minutes to cross the Bahamas and back. So we averaged about 60, 65 knots. Wow. So tell, you, tell us more about the Deville Ray. What kind of uh, mission can it do for like a defense customer for navies out there around the world? Sure. So we have a bunch of this. So these are very uh, mission agnostic, let's call it. So we can do ISR missions, mine countermeasure missions, logistics missions, hater missions. It's almost endless. We do in mine, offensive mining. We can do weaponizing various types. So they're set up for a lot of things. And the thing you'll notice behind me is you'll see there's a smaller mantis on the back of a devil ray. So what we can do is take the larger vessels to locations, launch the smaller ones fully autonomously. They can stay on station for weeks or a month and then come back and pick them up later. And they can conduct ISR missions, sonar missions, whatever you want. So they're very covert, maybe EW. So there you go. Have you been uh, discussing with uh, customers here, the U.S. Navy, U.S. Coast Guard, Marine Corps, as well as uh, navies around the world? Sure. So we're at that stage right now where the world's kind of becoming aware of what we have. And so what we're finding out is that it's like bringing a fighter jet to a prop convention. They all of a sudden go, holy cow, this thing does some crazy stuff. And so now we're dealing with our different groups in our military, or DOD, all the different divisions and then internationally we're dealing with NATO nation and allies and there's a lot of interest. So Devil Ray, what kind of top speed can you reach? So right now what we do with all our man, the Devil Ray series is we say burst speed's 80 knots. That's a nice, safe, easy one with our payload capability. Customers want we can go considerably faster and and people like Xavier can probably attest to that. <laughs> yeah, sure. We went out for a spin yesterday, and I could not believe it. It's just amazing. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, pretty they're pretty interesting vessels. And so in the case of Xavier, I'll just say we are well above 100 knots. <laughs> Bruce, what kind of sensors do you, did you fit on the boat for the show? So what you see behind us is uh, we're sensor agnostic. But for this particular show, you'll see things like we have Ray Marine as part of a collision avoidance system for the radar. You'll see a FLIR 280 HD camera that's on there used for ISR. You're going to see up front a big flat antenna. That's a high bandwidth SATCOM system from Viasat. We have a smaller bandwidth system here by Blue Sky Networks. And then you see some antennas on the front also. So you're going to see ones that are for 4G. Things are for AIS, so people know where we are. Uh, we have for the GPS and the, uh, the other parts of Iridium satellite communications that we have. And then back here, we have standard VHF in case you know we tie into the AIS. And then even on here, we not active. We have an anti jammer on the back of this thing also right now. So there's quite a few sensors on there at the moment. Now, tell us more about Martech. When did you start the company and where are you based at? Sure. So Martech was founded really about 10 years ago. We incorporated in 2012. We're based on the east coast of Florida in a place called Melbourne. We did that because we found out in upstate New York you can't test boats in the middle of winter. So we have a great testing facility both at our location and also being able to go to the Bahamas, the Keys, and anywhere else. So it's really perfect situation for testing this kind of equipment. Are you connecting some demos here during Sea Space on the Potomac River? Sure. So we're out here right now. We have various people that are going for rides. We have some generals. We have some four stars. And there's a lot of interest. I mean, I think most people have not been on a ride of something this stable that can go those kind of speeds. And uh, it's pretty incredible technology. All right, Bruce, what's next for Martek and uh, the Deville Ray? Uh, so what we're doing the Devil Ray is we're going to do a series of runs to the Bahamas in different conditions, higher sea states, 
different types of payloads, higher payloads, and we're going to bring out one of our larger ones to go with us, and we'll start showing some swarms of various sizes of devil rays together. So you're going to see some swarming of these big boats too. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Bruce, for your time, and uh, I hope uh, you uh, get to showcase the Devil Ray to many potential customers here at the show. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Take care.